Good evening, aloha from Florida. Just finished watching the sunset. It was beautiful tonight. Well, how does that work on a flat earth? Well, the sun moves out of our perspective and converges into the vanishing point on the horizon until we no longer see it. The sun is much smaller and closer to the earth than most of us were taught to believe. It goes around the magnetic center, which on the ground is the North Pole and the sky is the North Star Polaris. And then it comes back into our view right over there behind me in the morning and comes back into our perspective breaking through the convergence line, breaking through the vanishing point until it is visible again. The sun does not set over any curvature of the earth because the earth doesn't have any curvature. Let me ask, how does that work on a globe? Oh, the earth is spinning a thousand miles an hour away from the globe during the sunset and during the sunrise, the earth is spinning a thousand miles an hour towards the sun? No. Have you ever watched the sunrise and sunset? What does it look like? Are you able to trust your own eyes? Does it look like the sun is moving across the sky? Yes, it does. Why? Because that's what's happening. The sun and the moon move across our sky over the surface of a flattened stationary earth, just as we observe them to be doing. The earth never moves, not one inch. The earth is motionless. It is stationary. It is fixed. The earth is an enclosed electrical topographical stationary plane. Everything only works as it does in reality, which is flat and stationary. Nothing works on the globe. The globe in the heliocentric hypothesis is not even a working model. They still have the three body problem, which means they cannot figure out how to get two bodies of mass rotating and revolving around each other without the entire system falling apart. So the earth is flat and stationary. That is scientific fact. That is observable, that is measurable, that is repeatable. I would highly suggest you go watch some time-lapsed sunsets and time-lapsed sunrises and see if you can trust your own eyes and see clearly that the sun is moving through the sky. The earth is not moving at all. The other thing you can watch are time-lapse uh, videos or time-lapse pictures put together of the star trails, clearly proving and showing that the sky has one motion over the surface of a flattened stationary earth. The blue ball religion, the globe theory, the heliocentric hypothesis claims that the earth is moving in at least three different directions all at the same time at insane speeds. We would never see perfect repeating circles around Polaris, which clearly shows or proves there is one motion and that is the motion of the sky over us. The earth doesn't move. The earth is flat and stationary. The sky moves, the entire sky moves over the surface of our flat and stationary earth. All ancient cultures knew this. Someone in the past built an incredible machine called the Antikythera Mechanism. We have a documentary on that. Go check out The Mechanical Realm by Vika Drazev. I am in that documentary with a few other people and that machine proves clearly a geocentric system, geo uh, earth centric center. The center of the earth on the ground, as I said, is the North Pole. In the sky is the North Star, Polaris, which is right over there and I can see it every night of the year. Isn't that weird? I mean, if the earth was on one side of the sun at this time of year and on the other side of the sun at a different time of year, wouldn't we see completely different stars? But we see Polaris and the same stars circling them perfectly, proving clearly only one motion, not three or four. But, 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 but the stars in the south appear to go in the opposite direction. You said it right. They appear. We don't know exactly how it works. They're all still moving east to west. There is no South Pole. There is only a North Pole and a North Star. There is no South Star. Whatever it appears that they are circling around in the South, there's nothing there. I have looked into it and researched it many times myself. I have researched the Antikythera mechanism for months and months and months before we did the mechanical realm. And we also, on uh, Vika Drazev podcast on Truth in Plain Sight, uh, the podcast is called Heliopsychosis. What a great name, Vika. Heliopsychosis. But we did dozens of ancient cosmologies and creation stories all ancient cosmologies show the earth as an enclosed system with a flat level plane in the middle so go check out the mechanical realm by vika Drazev, truth in plain sight channel or check out uh the, it's also on david weiss's channel flat earth sun moon zodiac clock app and watch the time-lapse sunsets and sunrises and the time-lapse star trails showing and think for yourself don't just try to you know, defend what you were taught to believe. Think for yourself and see that the, sh the sky is showing us clearly that it is moving and not the earth. 
Have a great night. God bless.